Hi, this is the second to the last step in the procedure that will get you set up to stream music from your PC to your friends' PCs or devices or to the 3DX chat rooms. In the previous videos, we were able to create an account at myradiostream.com. We were able to configure Winamp or the Shoutcast plugin in Winamp more specifically to connect to this server and we were able to start the server as well. So go ahead and log into myradiostream.com and verify that your server is up and running. You should see something called online private or online no source. And once you see that, um, you can go ahead and scroll down to the direct stream URLs. This is the URL that corresponds to your stream. Anybody with this URL can listen to your music or whatever audio you're streaming. Um, you might see some numbers and characters on your screen instead of this. You can customize the URL to anything that you want. I chose Mark IV Stream. Now go ahead and copy it. I'll do that with a Control C. And once that's done, um, go ahead and open Winamp. And if you don't see the Shoutcast configuration window already, you know where to go. Go to Options, Preferences, and then um, DSP slash Effect Plugin, and click Configure Active Plugin after you've selected the Shoutcast Source DSP in the link um, in, the, in the list. Once you've done that and the configuration screen comes up, click Connect. And there you go. Um, as I said before in the previous video, if you see sent and numbers, that indicates that data is being sent. We aren't sending music data right now, so it's kind of dummy data. So if you want to stream music, go ahead and select your favorite MP3 and add it to the Winamp playlist and double click it to start playing. Make sure that it is actually playing and reduce the volume all the way down to 0% in Winamp. And then to test that you're actually streaming the music, open up Windows Media Player and hit Control U or Alt F, open URL. So you can either do Control U or Alt F and then open URL. Paste the stream URL and then click OK. There you go, you are actually streaming music um, from Winamp to your streaming server and having Windows Media Player connect to that server separately and stream music. Once you do this, you know that your stream is up and running and you can provide your URL to your friends or paste the URL in the 3DX chat room radio. Well, that's about it from me. Um, do note that there will be lag between your, uh, between Winamp playing music and what your friends are listening to. That's because there's so much happening. Um, Winamp is actually converting that audio data back into the digital MP3 format and streaming it to the server. And then the stream and the server itself is distributing that data to your friends. So that's, that's going to have some latency hit um, in all that processing. So make sure that your PC is relatively powerful. It only has to process this one stream. It is not a server, so the workload is not as much as it would be. Um, but that's about it from me. Congratulations if you're listening to music right now from your Windows Media Player. You have successfully gone through this entire process. I'm sure you didn't find it as complicated as you thought you would. And congratulations again, and see you in the next and final video.